action hero Vin Diesel was slammed with a sexual assault lawsuit by a former personal assistant who accused the fast and furious hunk of viciously attacking her in 2010, RadarOnline.com can exclusively reveal. Asta Yonason filed a 27-page lawsuit in Los Angeles Superior Court where she claimed she had remained silent, afraid to speak out against the world's highest-grossing actors. She credited the hashtag MeToo movement for her decision to seek justice for the suffering she endured. The woman claimed she was attacked in a hotel suite after the 30th actor finished partying with a bevy of beauties and as they were prepping to leave the room at dawn to avoid the prying camera lenses of the paparazzi. Vin Diesel forcibly grabbed, the woman, groped her breasts and kissed her, the lawsuit stated. The woman, struggled continually to break free from his grasp while repeatedly saying no. The muscle-bound actor allegedly ignored her pleas. Vin Diesel then escalated his assault, groped her body, dropped to his knees and pushed, the woman's, dress up, groped her legs, and attempted to pull down, the woman's, underwear, the lawsuit stated. Terrified for her personal safety, the woman, screamed and ran towards the nearby bathroom. The suit alleged the actor allegedly pinned the woman against the wall and forced her to touch his penis. The victim, then heard groaning noises from Vin Diesel, and he quickly released, the woman, and went to the bathroom and turned on the sink, the lawsuit stated. The woman, was frozen in a state of shock and unable to move. The woman then reported the alleged attack to her bosses at One Race Productions, whose president Samantha Vincent, happens to be the actor's sister. The woman was told she was no longer needed at the company. The woman, was fired for courageously resisting Vin Diesel's sexual assault, Vin Diesel would be protected, and his sexual assault covered up, the lawsuit stated. The woman seeks an unspecified damage in the lawsuit that accuses the Fast Five stud sexual battery, harassment and retaliation, wrongful termination and the infliction of emotional distress, according to the lawsuit that also named the once race productions.